I don't know why they can't hear you this time. It's there. The audio thingy is there. It's just not at all picking you guys up for some reason. Oh, well, I can do a new one. New audio. I don't even know what that is. This is like monkey. Are you kind of? So he's like three little monkeys jumping on the bed. Three little monkeys jumping on the said doctor. Said doctor. I don't know the rest. Ah, oh, no. you're kidding. Okay. <laughs> okay. Over here. Loud. Oh Loud. no. Loud. Huzzah. That could just be me too. I mean, loud is fixable. Right. So. Yeah, now everybody can hear. It's good. I'm I'm glad I, I was like, it's probably going to be fine. But I just want to make sure. So maybe I'll just make you guys talk at the start of every game. Just to double check. But yeah, are you guys excited to, to Elder Scroll it up and... Not die? Resolve this uh, predicament that you guys are in. Uh, I did the math in my head, and I would say there's a 50% chance of you guys being okay and a 50% chance of everyone dying. There's no middle ground. It's just the two options. Oh, boy. Right. So uh, Cool. Heads. <laughs> no, no, don't ever go heads. Tails. <sighs> Oh God! We've already the party's already divided. <laughs> gonna no. I, I mean, I didn't. Uh, yeah, you know, we'll go with heads. We talked about heads in Highlander already, so that's a good choice. There can only be one. So last time on the Elder Scrolls, last time we gathered, uh, you guys left the Oasis, uh, left Zarasa, the the traveler. And uh, found the haven of the wise women of the desert, where the Song of Life supposedly is stored, safely kept behind a locked vault. You guys snuck forward in the middle of the night, noting that there were sentries waiting for you. You quickly dispatched those sentries and then moved further into the complex, realizing that there was a trap uh, that was attempted to be set for you, but you guys just blew through, uh, mainly due to Razor's magic and uh, some quick fighting by Bertolus and Wynn. Uh, you were able to push further into the haven, down across a scary bridge, and into a couple of sets of rooms that had large mural kind of situations one of one about uh joy so i labeled them it's, it's kind of dumb but i labeled them the song of joy song of sorrow and the next set was the song of bounty and the song of loss you came up to a large door uh naomi was like oh hey i know how to unlock this and stepped forward to start unlocking it and then realized it was already open and when she pushed the door open inside, and I made a map for this real quick. I'm going to try and bring it up here in a way that you guys can see, maybe on the stream. Oh, that's not it. That's not it either. Aha! Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, no. Oh. Can you see? Can you see? Does it work? Oh, yes. all right. Look. It's you guys. I just used roll twenty. <laughs> Stuck you in here. Some of us. It's it's some of us for sure. Oh, You're gonna see, can you me like green? zoom? I know. Oh. I, I the other the way. Device. Centered. Over. Over. Uh, other. Other way. Opposite. There you go. Uh, uh, this way. Uh, almost. Almost. Uh, almost. Uh, almost. Uh, hey, no! Oh, no! Go back. No! <laughs> Should oh, I boy. zoom out some? Oh man, this is this is rough. Almost. Should have practiced this one. All right, there it is. We're all there. 
got the hand signals. I need the glowy baton so they can see you. I actually know how to do that, at least for helicopters. I mean, the point is to try and show. So uh, this was this was maybe a malformed idea, but I wanted to at least show you guys kind of what I was going for. Is that visible at all? Can you see the? Yeah, I mean. Are, so, it's a, are those uh, columns go a all, little bit further down? Are those columns all oh, down? And it's gone. Yep. Oh, and it's back. Yeah, so those columns, they kind of, it's like this ribbing that kind of lays across this area in the middle goes down, right? So this kind of central raised area platform where people can stand, where the, it looks like a table from this distance. Okay. Uh, there's a, an altar, a table that sits on the middle of it, where uh, our dangerous—you guys don't even know his name yet—leader uh, of the scour, the scourge bandits, was sitting on there with a thing up to that guy's uh, a, a prisoner's neck. Uh, he started talking, saying, "Deliver us the anse, and we'll, you know, maybe let some of you live." Uh, Wynn wasn't have any of that, and she stepped forward and hucked a dagger across the way, uh, which triggered him to slice across the neck of his prisoner. At the same time, uh, that led to a Daedra armor guy and uh, Morag Tong assassin to undo their invisibility as they had been creeping up right behind you guys. Uh the person wearing Daedric armor ran Dulavir through and has kind of tossed him to the side. He's laying kind of propped up against the wall there with a mortal wound. Uh, the Morag Tong assassin has grabbed uh, Naomi, put a, a dagger to her neck, and is pulling her backwards into the chambers that were behind you guys. The... Two warriors, the bandits, step forward and look like they're going to rush forward, but the leader kind of holds them back uh, from just rushing headlong. There is also an assassin that reveals himself off to the side who is hiding in the side of the room who has an uh, arrow, bow and arrow, pointed your way. So, For some reason, I remember there being more bad guys, or maybe that was just my initial panic. <laughs> I, yeah, I, that's I think true. it was the initial panic because initial panic? The, okay. the quality of the bad guys is high. Yeah. <laughs> quality of the bad guys, it's true. Does this work? I don't know. There's a way to do this better with a good setup of seeing you guys and putting this. Right. In. I just don't know it yet. I mean, if you but zoom out a little bit and recenter it, it's fine. Yeah, see, we problem, can see I the map can't... well enough. Center. That's this is... good. That's if you go down just a smidge, it... just a wee bit. Perfect. All right. No touch. All right. So the people in front of us on the dais are not moving, so they're not really too big of a concern. We gotta approach this in a smart way, and we'll see how that goes. Yeah. So my, you guys are not. In striking range, the, the only person who can hit you from where they are that you know of is the archer. So they're not directly in striking range from where you are, though. the Well, yeah. What is your reaction? I want to give you give you guys a chance to because I did a lot of NPC stuff. Now you guys get to actually react to it. Um, I need to protect Naomi. She's like the last like connection I have to this like everything. Mm -hmm. Um so I'm gonna be emotionally compromised and I'm gonna go for her. Uh what do you mean go for her? Like try to save her. I mean the guy has a thing to her neck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um I, you know what I'm gonna communicate to that bird. Maybe they'll help. I don't know. So you say to the to you you say to the bird <laughs> Help like save I, Naomi. Yeah. yeah, help help Naomi. Okay. Uh, roll. Roll. <laughs> what can I roll with this? I don't know. Roll bird talking. Sweet caca. 
Pick uh, out Jason! Pick out! Oh. Yeah, just a straight roll and see what happens. Um, we might add something. Yeah, go ahead and roll. Uh, Mediocre. Boo! And then maybe we'll add... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, mediocre. Uh, you yeah. you will your you you request. You say it out loud. Question. No, I don't say it out loud. So you think have, hard. I think I think hard. Uh, to a bird, uh, and uh, everybody else roll perception. The four, the remaining four of you guys. Oh, that's right. Okay. Nice. Well, I did fantastic. Yes, you did. Uh, Thank God somebody did. Yeah, three on that. So a uh, higher than a three, I'm going to give that uh, you see, you notice that like coming from like the, the, the collar of winds, uh, uh, shirt or maybe out the sleeve or whatever your shoulder uh, clothing situation is, you can see like light, either like shining through the clothing or like coming out of the thing that just has all of a sudden appeared. Uh, and then let's, uh, I'm just going to go around the thing here. Bertolus, what's your reaction to this? Ugh. Well, Dulavir, uh, he seems like he dead. Uh, and there <laughs> like, is a guy that just that just ran him through so i figure i should step up and um engage that that fella okay because uh you know offense is the best defense so you step forward to take a smack go ahead and you're gonna make an attack uh yeah uh neil Lilfineth. what's your reaction as he steps uh... forward? To engage. Fuck. This is a lot more, a lot more combat in a in a not easily escapable room that I'm not a super big fan of. Marcus here. Mm. I'm gonna make a decision using the best possible technique, which may or may not be by rolling a d4 with specific circumstances cool uh i'm gonna take out a vial of poison and coat an arrow and i don't know if i'm i think action economy uh would like to shoot at our big bad boss man who is being a douchebag big bass boss man uh go ahead and take your shot so I when you you start glowing, though I don't think you're necessarily aware of it, Bertoles, nah. you take a step forward to swing at this at this guy, and I'm seeing you got a is that your reroll there five? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna tap my knight of the cool. dragon Good one. aspect to, so you to get, reroll. You get one shift, or you succeed by one. Uh, what is all your in, include all your bonuses for damage? Um. Plus six to damage total. So that's seven total. Uh, he is, he does not get wounded. It does not get through his armor. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. right. Uh, then Bertolus has a little flash of panic go through his eyes. <laughs> uh, you shoot win with a Four. That guy's gonna try and get out of the way. Oh shit! Wait, wait. His character Somebody... sheet on the computer. Somebody shooting me? Uh, I am shooting at Big Bad Sorry. Boss guy. Uh, I called. I called uh, Neo Win. 
It's okay. Bad, We're both bad badass women, so it's fine. Uh, and I got a six on my result. Dark four. Mm -hmm. uh, your arrow kind of skips off his shoulder. He's got a uh, kind of thick armor underneath. He's got the his uh, cool desert garb, and it kind of clicks off to the side. Uh, With a six, that's terrifying. He got a six on it, six on his defense as well. He dodges out of the side, and you just barely miss him. Oh, he's terrifying. Uh, and then Razor. I'm going to go to Razor. We'll save Veil vale for last. Okay. Um, I suppose at this point, I should probably focus on giving myself a little bit more longevity for this fight. So I'm going to cast Defend on myself. Cool. Give myself a shielded boost. Yeah. Take a defensive action. Veil. I mean, a lot of just stuff just happened real quick. What do you? What's your reaction? Uh, Veil is like, wow, people dying. Oh no. Um, that's, <laughs> uh, but he feels like clearly that the core of this is guy on thing. So Veil starts walking down the path towards the two guys calmly. I mean. <laughs> Not actually calmly, but like not sprinty. Uh okay. Okay. Here's what they do in reaction. Uh the assassin off to the side takes a shot at Razor. Okay. Uh go ahead and roll a defense. You need to get a three or better. All right. Uh, the Daedra is going to swing at Bertalus. Do what you do best, buddy. Defend! Oof. Oh! Oh! Uh, a seven? Yep. So that's two shifts plus... No, no, no. I hard. also got a seven. <laughs> because I uh, right, fine. am cool that's under how, fire. That's how you want to play this game. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's how he wants to play the and game. That would have really hurt a bunch. <laughs> you don't want to get hit yeah. by this guy. It's bad news. He's got a really nasty Claymore thing. You, and he's, it's like he's an it's assassin glowing. with a claymore? He's got a big old No, claymore. the dude in Diedrich armor, not the assassin. Oh, okay. There are two assassins. They are not in Diedrich armor. Yeah, there's kind of a oh, minor assassin okay. guy off to the side shooting arrows at you. Uh, the right. one that has Naomi pulling it back, takes another step back, sees you guys fighting, pulls the dagger across her neck. Blood No! Oh, no, no, and no, 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 no. The ground and, no. Pull, and pulls out a short sword. Uh, that he puts up in front no. of him. That's a, it's like, I mean, uh, if you have a hostage, and you you're like, hey, you we want to kill your hostage. If you don't... You negotiate! You negotiate! If, oh. you, you, you threw a dagger at him for negotiating! <laughs> okay, like, well, like, <laughs> to be fair, like... I mean, he could have negotiated with me. I would have been open to it with the yeah, other dude. Maybe even, not. There is even a, well, we can talk about it later, but you guys, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look, it's fine. We'll be fine. No, it's not fine. It's Everything not fine. will be okay. No, it's not. Oh, no. Uh, is, is, can I get like an extra bonus to rage? Is that a thing in, in this game? Can I rage? Um, Are you a barbarian? No, I'm not. <laughs> My character is not a barbarian, but I, I want would to. Like to rage <laughs> <laughs> against the machine. I think you can. It doesn't really do anything, but right. Well, that bastard is going down. Yeah. So you, what do you? We'll go back. Oh no, these two guys. Uh, the bandits step forward, uh, cautiously and defensively, uh, and. Their leader 
steps forward and looks at you, Vale, and says, My quarrel is not with you. Step aside and let me destroy my foe. Uh, uh, does the guy on the platform there look dead yet or like still bleeding out? Uh, probably not dead, but will be dead soon. It takes about five minutes for somebody to die to get. Kind of we'll cut. say, yeah, we'll say uh, that. <laughs> the, thanks. May, That's may, nice. may, may or know. may not be that. Or maybe uh, it's best to just narratively. Uh, but maybe you have a few minutes. Yeah. Uh, I guess one other question about like the platform. Um, just in general, uh, like I assume that there was some. There was magic stuff going on too, right? Like, is yes, there... you can see glowy up ahead on that. On so he was sitting on this like altar table thing when you guys came in, and he was just like very calmly, like relaxed, sitting and with his big kind of long sword uh, on the guy's neck, and he just sliced forward, and then he calmly got up and he like wiped his blood and told his men to not to rush in, and they kind of held back. And uh, yeah, so he steps forward. Like that. So uh, the altar essentially looks like it's channeling magic of some sort. Yeah, and the there's moment. like glowing. There's, it's a blue green glow kind of coming from somewhere up at the altar. Up, oh, similar color to the blue green glow that's coming out of Wind's shoulder area. Yeah. The shoulder. The shoulder. Real takes one look, one sad look back at Naomi. Uh, with a big heavy sigh, but then, yeah, he totally steps aside. Oh boy. Okay, so that's he's just gonna walk by. Then? Um, well, uh, I'm gonna let. That's we're gonna do that. We're gonna another have another round here of stuff sure, happening. No problem. Uh, so, uh, win. I'm gonna have you go first here. Um, well, I am uh, gonna fall apart. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I, because, I mean, Naomi's effectively dead. Um, there's nothing I could do. Uh, like, and... Water? Just throwing out there, we had a bunch of that. I've got two healing vials. Potions, healing waters. That's true. I actually do have a healing potion. Uh... But the guy is still near her, right? Yeah, he's standing right behind her body. Yeah. Ugh. I mean. Okay, but do, do, how do conscientious of am I? Like, how emotional am I going to be? Let's see here. Roll. Okay, oh. so where is my dice? Hold on. High or low? Decision dice. Do you even throw odds? Oh, even okay. You stay even odds. It gets a little odd. All right. That sounds I like a good idea. I might reward reckless behavior targeted at that more tongue assassin I'm just it sounds like a good thing to do yeah uh are you staying even, even like got temporary enraged or losing her cool or well, something she, like that <laughs> well she loses her shit angrily instead of very sad like so that was the role I got so angry it is guys I'm gonna swing yeah. at that sort of bitch oh, I I mean, can't if, here. if you kill him I can try and get Naomi up all right, I'm gonna swing at him. Where is my thing? Oh my goodness, where is this? Okay, and we're gonna do this. All right, that is a five. That's a good roll there. So you just come running up, and you're gonna, you're gonna smack him. I am going to chop him to tiny little bits. Okay, as you do, you come running up here, right? There, you notice it. Maybe at the last second, there is a another shadowy figure hiding behind that assassin. Uh, and uh, it 
that's there lurking. But you come running up with uh, your sword ready. Can you, okay, so uh, they can hear me now. Oh, I'm sorry, that really dramatic moment was ruined. <laughs> it was great for us. Oh God, that was fun. But uh, let me let me see if I can get you guys audio. I think I'm back. I don't think you guys are back. I'm sorry. I tried to be clever. Oh no, uh, heresy! This is how it you was learn. Dramatically no, appropriate. Wait, that's not me. Never mind. No, you didn't. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah. right, now I think we're. You can hear us. There Multiple the personalities there. here. Good enough. <laughs> cool. All right. So you rolled some rolls. I'm think, assuming here. Yeah, I got a six. You got a six. You got a five. He's gonna. He's unaware of the attack from behind. He tries to defend himself from win as you come running up. Uh, you got one shift on him. Add in your damage win. Uh, oh, so this has been a while since I've actually fought fought. So is that just my your physique? Is what weapon are you using? Your steel claymore? Uh, yes. That should have a damage bonus on it, I think. Oh, that's no, that's it. Yeah. Ridiculous. So it looks like it's a th two. Or is it three? Uh, steel claymore? Steel claymore. Okay, no, I have dwarven swords. Okay, so that's three. So I do three. Wait. Did you say it's a dwarven one? No, the dwar I have dwarven short swords. So I oh. probably should have done that. Two. But anyways, oh, I have to use that. It's damage three. That's right. right, right, right. Okay. So that's going to do four shifts on this guy. Ow, ow, ow. It's going to take... Uh... And a minor consequence, if you want to take that, you sure can, Zarasa. Yep. So we'll give you a plus two, and are you going to use your stunt? Yep. So that's going to be, be you got a six. We'll turn, make that an eight. With You can hit that consequence that uh, mm -hmm. Wynn just put on him. Uh, we'll make that an eight. So that's going to be, he doesn't know you're there. So that's eight shifts <laughs> plus nine. your damage. I, I, I that's that's one, so that's nine. I probably don't need to to double that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you do another nine shifts to this guy. He can. Uh, but you could. He's yeah. not. Uh, he's not a mook. He's got uh, moderate and severe consequence slots to fill, which he just filled. Uh, yeah, and he's not looking too great uh, as you stab him from behind with another dagger. I look at you because no, I don't think I've ever met you before. That point now. He's okay. He's good. <laughs> we like him. Suddenly very happy we ended on a positive note instead of the other plan that I had. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, being well, nice to people can have long-term positive benefits? Who knew? <laughs> I don't know. All right, Bertolus. Better not eat those chips. Um, well, this is welcome news. But it seems that um, my uh, ward, my, my charge, has wandered, wandered off. That's yeah. not great. 
He does not seem like he's in any immediate danger, though, right? There are two aggressive bandits glowing with some sort of... Whose weapons are glowing with some sort of magic. Who are... I mean... They look like they want to slice him down. And perhaps the only thing that's stopping them is the big bandit back here. Who is currently being shot at by arrows and things. But he seems cool. well, he seems sort of, uh, you know, yeah. You don't know. I am going to try to maneuver myself as to give, perhaps, Razor a clear line of fire uh, <laughs> should he choose to take such an opportunity. Uh, but And then I'm going to, you know, really try to keep his attention on me by stabbing him in the face. Well, I might do it. Well, we'll see if that does it. Could have been a better roll. Could have been a worse roll. Uh, sorry, uh, you were maneuvering yourself to give a shot. Are you trying? Yeah, to... I just want to like. Um, I can't. This map isn't up anymore, but yeah, I want to shift over towards what would be my right, kind of circle strafe to the right. Mm-hmm. And then, and then you're keep gonna... stabbing at him. Cool, cool, got it. He's going to defend. <clears throat> Aha, barely plinks. He, you guys are just going back and forth at each other, like just ding, ding, like these powerful blows. Uh, and like... The thing is, you had you did hit him, and his armor deflected it, so he took yeah. a blow. If you get hit in the same fashion, dangerous, danger. Uh, Neil mm-hmm. Lufleneth. Well, <clears throat> this is developing rather quickly. Um, I think I'm under direct assault from anybody yet, and there is another archer. Because I don't know if I can hit the. Our big bad. Without here seems help anyway. It's funny Which you I should might. say that. I know. <laughs> if only I could besiege here scene, potentially in person. If only. If only. Uh, hmm. Because I can try and take out the archer as I assume I'm a better shot than he is. Or I can try and down the big bad. But now... Big Bad's really close to Vale, and if he takes Vale, then this gets way more complicated. Mm-hmm. Oh. I've yet to be a hostage, which is sort of a surprise, given my character concept. Mm-hmm. <laughs> were you a hostage when we were in the... No, they were just straight up trying to kill you. That's right. Yep. I remember. <sighs> There's too many things. I don't know who to help. <laughs> I sit down for a cup of tea. Roll a dice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to shoot at the big band. So I'm gonna poison another arrow and try this again. Was your Goal wait? Was your previous one him. poisoned? Yes. What does the poison do? I just have a vial of poison that I got from our definitely just a normal guy traversing the desert friend okay. that's reappeared. Um, it's I think because you you tied last time. That and your hero technically did glance off of him. I think I might apply some poison effects to him. Oh, as a consolation I mean, prize. I didn't catch that I'm you were putting poison complain. on. I'm not going to complain. Yeah. Well, you do what you can. As a yeah. definitely not assassin. <clears throat> <laughs> so we're 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 gonna we're gonna try again, and we're gonna hopefully do better this time. Hey, seven's pretty good. Do I wanna Seven I wanna put good. a fate point in it? I kinda wanna I'm gonna put a fate point in it. I'm gonna tag hunter of here scene for this, cause I'm trying to trying to hunt the biggest bad. So you're so gonna take that seven, turn it into a nine. You hit him with poison. And 
So you get your armor piercing from your mm -hmm. arrows. You get is the steel bow just zero still? Steel is one damage. One one extra damage. So that's and then glass arrow is three armor pen. Six seven shifts of damage, three of which is automatically through. Oh, I'm not I'm not sharing his the, my screen anymore. I can actually look him up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this help? Will it hurt? Who knows? It hurts a lot. So he gets, you basically shoot him like in the neck. It kind of like, he dodges, it tries to dodge again and almost goes into it, like slices across his neck and he kind of puts a hand up to it and goes, ah! And then he, he looks at you in anger and then his eyes kind of open up as he like, taste his own blood and is like fuck poison uh. Uh, and then he says uh, yeah uh then he uh, yeah he looks he's gonna yeah yeah he'll react to that he's, we'll give Vale a chance to thing. do something before he <laughs> tells yeah. him to start killing everyone uh razor all right uh so this uh daedric armor guy is it a guy or is it actually a daedric uh roll the uh, lore or uh, uh, scholarship? You, you know what? He's not a Daedra because I would not fight one. Okay, so he can't be. <laughs> With the six, oh, that's I mean... pretty good. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, this is yeah. You see the eyes beneath. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, from the style of helmet that it's wearing, mm -hmm. uh, this thing is uh, a type of Dremora. Some sort mm. of noble class, Dremora. Nope. Nope. <laughs> mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> oh, <no>. What? <laughs> what is... My, my character has no idea. She That's doesn't... okay. Very few people in this group would know. Outside Razor, don't tell me. Don't uh, tell me. Yeah. Nope. Don't worry about it. It's you fine. may have... I mean, you probably encountered some Dremora... Oh, I most definitely did. Um, but but to this one, you can tell that this the helmet it's wearing marks it as somehow unique. Mm -hmm. the, the markings that are on it as well. That's how you know. It's like, this is some sort of like fancy schmancy Dremora. Right. Uh, let's see. What do I want to do? I suppose I could do that. You could do that. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to cast Corrode Armor on him. Ah, oh, yes. Good choice. I love that spell. His armor is excessive. Yep. <laughs> so let's uh, let's knock it down a little bit. How much? Uh, I don't think I had that spell on the. We should flesh that list out officially more. Oh wait, uh, well, did I have? It, it is on there. Oh, nice. Corrode armor. I'm smart. So yeah, uh, that succeeds. He loses. Two points of armor? Yeah. Uh, as well as, uh, I guess, cheeky mm. insult to injury, uh, I'll say in Daedric, um, how the mighty Daedra have fallen <laughs> to serve such worthless scum. Oh, a very suspicious look from at least two people in this group. Oh, <laughs> yo, Dean, why well, forgot a major thing? Uh -huh. uh, do you remember how I said that the, the first guy you killed, do you remember I said he was given something? Oh, yeah, I get, yeah. Do you want to worry about that at all or not? Nah? Probably should. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's all a right. small, uh, 
it's got uh, like a soul gem in it, and it's like this weird kind of device with arcane markings around it. It's what you pick up off of it. Mm. Okay. Mm. Do I have any idea what that is? You can roll scholarship or scholar. <laughs> uh-huh. yep. If only you knew a mage. <laughs> well, I mean, I have I have a plan, but I'll go ahead and roll this anyway. Right. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, you don't know. You're not sure what it is. Okay. It's magic. Looks like magic. Cool. Well, when it's my turn, I have a plan. Great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Razor, you corrode his armor, you taunt him. Veil. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, my main objective is to get past them, and he seems to be wanting to get past me. So I think we're in agreement. <laughs> Do you, do you try to, you, there's a little bit of a ledge down from where you are. Do you uh, step off there? Uh, I mean, if it's pretty clear they're just going to go around me, I will step out of the way, cool. right? That's where we are. Yeah. Um, and then I will rush forward towards a uh, bleeding guy to take a look at him. And if there's any chance, if I think there's any chance that a healing spell might save him, I will do it. Otherwise, I have a second. I have a backstabby kind of plan. Um, from Veil? <laughs> it's very surprising. I mean, it it sounds more backstabby than it is. Okay, so the two bandits move past you and start advancing. On the others, you get up and you can cast your spell. And that's... Did the the other guy go, is he still with me he, near here? Or? He's standing right next to you. Yeah, he's right oh, there. Well, that's, that's great. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to bend down and like, uh, obviously, I mean, that's what I'm going to do. Look at him. Look at the, um, and prepare to cast a spell. What spell it is will depend on whether I think he could survive. Um, okay, so, so you, I'm going to, so two things. One, you do, he does seem to be still, uh, not conscious, but pull, like you can, you know, he's pulsory, like you see his breathing, like labored, but he's still like, ah, there on the, on the ground. So you think that you could, your, your magic would probably at the very least save his life. Okay. Um, so I'm going to, oh. the, uh, if, if that's enough. But that takes you a moment to kind of surmise. The guy, the bad guy right next to you has turned towards you and is putting a hand out towards you. Like, like aggressively? He's, yeah, like he's going to grab you. And potentially okay. use you to absorb some arrows. No, he's going to be a high five. He's, he's, well, then so your spell is going to be calm on him to ah. try and keep him from <laughs> How much mental... <laughs> Stress can this guy uh, take? <laughs> oh, oh, he's he's yeah. Okay. I think I might need to spend a fate point for that. Yeah. Um, the spell will so, go off, but it uh, yeah, it won't do a super. I'm here to help. Well, I mean, is a four going to be any better than a two? Can always try. Two more, two more points. Oh uh, yeah, totally, I'm totally spending the fake point there. Um, with the, no, wait, I'm here to help. <laughs> so you, t- he, 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 he watches you as you come up and like check the guy on the ground, and he, he waits just just a beat long enough for you to kind of start casting your spell. And he's just like, Oh, you're going to heal this guy. And then he, he starts going for you. Uh, and then you turn him up and grab, like you just grab his hand, you know, you guys lock fingers or whatever. And oh. you put a shock of calming energy into him. And he kind of uh, shakes his head a little bit. Um, and then, uh, his eye, but his eyes kind of clear up after that. We'll we'll uh, uh, take his steal his turn away from him. Oh, uh, okay. Yes, okay yes, works for me, dog. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. 
this guy. That's you. That's all of you. Shit, shit. Um, the Dremora kind of glances over at Razor and says <laughs> in Daedric, um, um, uh, I do not serve willingly, but I will kill you with pleasure. Mm. Ooh, ooh. It's, it's pretty classic. That's yeah, that's par for the course. Uh but he's gonna swing at Berkeley. Of course he is. Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's see what I can do. Hey God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, hold on, hold on, guys. I gotta kill this tank first, real quick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll get to I'll get to you later, Razor. He's coming for you eventually. Right. Yeah. No. Like, uh, why? Why is all this human dying yet? <laughs> right. Human. Totally. <laughs> nice. We're just speaking. Uh, different language. It's fine. No worries. This cool. is ridiculous. Uh, the other two guys uh, are going to rush you, Razor. They're going to come running up and try to get you. Uh, you may notice Dulavir, he's crawling his way up to the up to where Vale and uh, the big bad evil guy are. The BBEG. I don't, I don't know if that's a good idea, Dulavir. He's 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 slow. He's he's leaving a trail of blood behind him. He's trying. Uh, these guys are gonna swing at you, Razor. I got a. F oh, I have to wait two seconds before. <laughs> he's got to wait. Ooh, ooh, two fives. All right. Two defense rolls. Yeah. That's four shifts of damage each. Okay. Uh, well, minus one. So three shifts of damage each. Uh, yeah. Six total. But so, you remember how, like, you got to take your three first and then. Right. Uh, so, yeah, I'll take. Uh, I guess I'll take a mild and a moderate consequence. Yep. Oof. Okay. I want this guy still. Yeah, I'm going to shoot it. Give me one more defense roll, Razor. Okay. Holy cow, trying to go after the mage. Smart, but really? I mean, he is yes, terrifying. Exactly. So, right. Uh, and the, the bowman misses you. Okay. Win and Zarasa. You guys just felled this opponent. You turn and look. It's could be going worse. <laughs> we'll say that. It could right. be going worse. Uh, I rush up to Naomi. Yep. Um, right on the ground there. Yep. Um, and I pull out one of my healing bottle things that I have. Uh, and I shove it in her mouth. Um, is this the healing water from the Oasis or is it a potion? I it's a potion. Potions. Cool. Okay, you. I don't think I got the water on drop me. Drop it down her thing. She, uh, you can notice. You notice her wounds kind of start. She's bleeding less and uh, uh, breathing. She's rasping though her breaths, and she's basically yeah, she's unconscious on the ground. Okay, but she's stable. Great. I believe so. Great. So uh, I'm gonna concentrate on the inner bird in me, I guess, and just ask for some more help, I guess. Because it didn't work the first time. Maybe it'll work again? Um, I don't know. 
Yeah. Roll. Uh, also, roll. things are like, you know, fate points uh, are also cool. <laughs> Uh, so. Yep, I'm going to be uh, using a fate point to re-roll that. Uh, I'm going to do... Fuck. Ooh. Because uh, I did anti-initiate. I'm just going to really suck at this. I... That's well, it. Gotta get there a is, tuned, you, you were trying to do this, and you're like, please, yeah. please, please, and you like grab onto Naomi, and you kind of close your eyes, and you're like, just please help save her, and there's a... a you see some light. There's a quick kind of burst of light that kind of moves down from you and over Naomi's body but you're mm -hmm. unsure if that did anything. Pretty sure it didn't. Alright, that's my turn because I don't think I can do anything else. Azarasa. Okay. So I'm going to pull out the little glowy magic -y thingy and, okay. and say... Hey, Razor, this might help you. I'm going to toss it at him, and then I'm going to proceed to shoot somebody. <laughs> cool. Uh, Razor, roll, catch the thing. <laughs> roll, catch the thing. You know, last time we did this... Hot potato. Uh... <laughs> it's not a zero. How good of a toss? Roll, shoot. Zarasa, give me a shot. Okay. I want to see... I, I want to... Take advantage of poor rolls if this happens. Ah, okay. Well, yeah. So you, you catch it. It's a little... You, you kind of bobble it and you're wounded there, Razor, but you manage right. to get it and there's two guys, but you've got this thing in your hand. Mm. Uh, you can go ahead and roll a scholarship. Zarasa, make your shot. Okay. And I'm shooting one of the two that are attacking him because I figure it should... It might be easier for me to read stuff if he's not being stabbed. So, makes sense. Right. <laughs> I don't know I what would make you think that. I appreciate the help, my friend. <laughs> Not too shabby, guys. Doing all right. Could be worse. Yep. I'll take all the worst rolls today. <laughs> I could roll like I was yesterday. Oh, God, no. That's two shifts <laughs> plus damage. Okay. Uh, let's see. The bow does three, so that's what? Five, and it's got three armor printed. Your bow does three? It's got yeah. a nice bow. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> what are these days? Someday I too will have a nice bow. This guy. He's not doing too hot. Okay. Uh, the one of the two that came up to you, Razor, is looking relative, rather wounded, and he's kind of like, uh, from that one shot. Uh, <laughs> let's go to, I guess, yeah, Bertolus. All right. I mean. As long as this guy's trying to kill me, he's not trying to kill anyone else. So let's keep his attention. Uh, that is not a good roll. I escort. I'm going to re-roll that because I am a knight of the dragon, Squire. <clears throat> you sure are. <laughs> that was not any better. I feel like this rolling thing just really has it out for like he, doubling down. He kind of laughs person. to himself as he. Oh no! Bats aside your your blade, and oh. it's like pitiful. You're already tiring. Well, well he, he says in danger. You don't. You don't understand that actually. Uh, Razor, you do. Uh, did yep. you roll your scholarship? I did. I got a six. You don't know. You're not sure actually what this thing is. You do know that the symbols on it have to do with conjuration magic. Can can Vile give Bertolus a reroll? <laughs> I mean, that's a, that's a question. That's a question. Should I <laughs> should I let the <laughs> Daedric yeah. princes all have fate points so they can periodically spend? I mean, hey, 
I don't know. That very much depends on whether or not those points Arrebo, come with a I, cost. I like... Well, okay. So here, I like... It probably won't affect my response. You just... You do not know what this thing is. Mm -hmm. uh, and... Uh, but yeah, you are able... You, you're knowledgeable. You're like, this is conjuration stuff. It's got some sort of conjuration magic in it or working with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, so let's go to Neil Lilfineth. Well, uh, Razor did get pretty, pretty beat up that last round. Yes. And he's standing right next to you. Uh, is he close enough that shooting the guy that is right next to him would affect my ability to shoot? Actually, it would be cool. pretty easy because he's not far. He's point blank. But I did see our our captain band try to grab Vale, right? Yes. Who has now an unknown poison coursing through his veins? No, well, only one person in here theoretically knows what that is. It's not theoretically. Me. Theoretically. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I'm gonna try and help Razor because we need him to not die. It's a Preferably. Okay. Preferably. I mean, he can if he wants to, but like now would be a really, really poor choice of time. <laughs> Definitely not the way I envision him dying. Right. Uh, but I won't. I won't cut this arrow in poison, which is fair. It's a. It's a four. Ford, are you going after the one that's already hit or the other one, the fresh one? Uh, the one that's already hit. Be nice to take somebody out if possible. You can uh, tap that. You can invoke that uh, consequence he just got. Yeah, let's do that. So it'll be a six. Four shifts just... plus one with three piercing, right? Yep. He goes down. Hey. Don't there say I go. never did some. Don't say I ever did nothing for you. Gets shot <laughs> once and is like, ah, in a moment of weakness. Uh, his friend tries to like step forward to to keep Razor at bay, uh, and like draw attention. But you're like, no, there's an easy target, <laughs> and you bring him down. This works. He falls um, to the ground. Can I spend a fate point to use my stunt natural instinct? Um, to draw, draw another arrow and aim it at our big angry bad guy. Try and keep his focus ah, I see what over you're... here. Yes. Cool. I will do that. Uh, Razor. Mm, at this point, uh, both of the guys on me are... One of them is down? One of them just dropped down. Took two arrows and dropped. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two the other glass one... arrows, I believe, can fly. Okay. So, and the other one is uh, the other one's still next to me, right? Yes. Uh, so I'm going to. Uh, so yeah, he's standing right there next to me, and uh... hmm, how do I want to phrase this? That's what I'll say. Um, so yeah, I will uh, basically uh, look at this thing in my hand uh, and then close my eyes for a hot second um, and say, uh, honorable ancestors, protect the last son of House Vastaragon uh, as I will cast flame shell on myself. So ancestral guardians. Do you wait? So you grip the thingy and you say ancestral guard. Are you saying it to the... Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm more or less saying it to my ancestors, but yeah, I'm holding on to this thing because it's got some power to it. I'd, I'm hoping I can learn what this thing is, but at the same time, I also just want flame guardians to protect me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, go and, uh, and then you do your flame guardians. Yep. Yep. 
like, don't get into melee with me if you want to get burned. Um, we didn't decide that we did that last. Um, uh, Neil of Lineth, roll, uh, roll acrobatics. All right. Um, flames start whipping around you as this, uh, I know, flame spirit kind of pops out and starts, uh, messing with your, it, it, basically anybody around you. Uh, the guy leaps backward. He takes a little bit of singeing from that. And, uh, Neil Lilfenith, you are just barely mm-hmm. fine. Just barely able to stay ahead of... Uh, I heard him, heard him mention ancestors and was like, oh, no. No oh, shit. <laughs> I know what comes next. Veil. Uh, is he still focused on me or is he become distracted by all of the flats, fancy flame and arrows? Yeah, so he is worried. You, So his next action is probably going to somehow... Well, he's going to probably somehow try to deal with you or his main concern is... The people, the person who's shooting him with a with poison tipped arrows, over there. Uh, I say to him, look in that direction, and you notice he's sweating. <laughs> he wasn't sweating a little while ago. He is now <laughs> sweating <laughs> profusely. Unless this man's life is that important to you at the moment, perhaps you should just let me save him, if. If you win, you can kill us both later anyways. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and uh, you can do your healing. Oh. It's, that's, that's just great. Just barely. Uh, he is... you think maybe not bleeding anymore you wipe away the physical stress <laughs> he's still laying there though okay well um i don't have a lot of to a large degree he is sort of the subterfuge anyways so i will make sure like i step around him and so that i'm kind of like off to the side while i'm working on him sure. so that i've got clear access to the like table altar thing mm-hmm. and then i'll prepare yep. for next round Okay, <laughs> so you, you step so that the, the altar is right there. You can now see, I mean, you're kind of kneeled down uh, doing this spell and working on this guy, but you can, as you kind of reshift, you can see it's like, um, yeah, it's like this big kind of uh, oval table altar thing and kind of sitting in the middle of it is like this cylinder with like a sphere center and it has lines on it that where there's blue green energy that kind of uh, bubbling seems like almost underneath. Uh, so that, not like a steady glow, like more of a shifting, ebbing, flowing, glowing, changing light underneath, slipping through the cracks of this, whatever the hell that is. So do you say sitting on it or like in it? In it, yeah. Kind of flat, like it, it's flat across the top uh, with maybe some like, you could theoretically reach in there and like grab onto it and pull it out or, okay, I don't know. Good. It looks That's like it right. has handles. Uh, well, I'm excited about that, but I'll get back to that next time. Okay. Uh, all right, bad guys. The Scourge, he charges off, seeing his men getting killed and attacked. He charges straight at Razor. <laughs> this is... Yeah, no. <laughs> okay. um, the Dremora, the Daedra, disengages, also goes running straight at Razor. Disengages Why? Disengages from Bertolus, goes running straight at Razor. He's uh, a very powerful spellcaster, that's why. Uh, 
the the bad bandit guy, Redguard, his cool glowing sword with his with like it's attached. It's got like a line of energy that goes down to his chest. Picks it up, swings a heavy blow down at you. I've got faith. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to spend a fate point to activate my defend the weak and intercept the um, guy in Daedric armor from attacking Razor. Uh, that um, would be infuriating from the Daedra standpoint, I assume. This whole thing is infuriating Probably. from the Daedra standpoint. <laughs> uh, he's not even supposed to be here today. <laughs> this was his day off. He got called in and covered somebody else's shift, and now it's turned out like Oh, that's this? why he said he wasn't supposed to. Oh, I see. It's not his own choice. He doesn't yeah. even get paid overtime. <laughs> Stupid salary. Um, so how does this... This is important, uh, Aaron. Does, mm-hmm. does, does this trigger when he starts moving away from you or when he picks up his blade to swing? Well, let's see. When someone is attacked physically while in your zone, you can spend a fate point to redirect that attack to yourself. So the swing. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, so the no, swing. No, no. Not that smile. No. He only rolled really good. It's fine. Right. Look, Bertolus is used to getting <laughs> the absolute shit kicked out of him at least once a fight, so. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. All right. So there's this is... <laughs> Uh, ro- uh, well, I'll ro- roll my defense me- here against that. Yes, roll your own defense if you'd like. Okay. And Rob, give me one defense as well. Okay. Don't forget, uh, our big bad has an aspect you can tap. Uh, I guess I'll tag that aspect to make it a six. Hopefully, that's enough. So the enough. big bad, he got a seven on his roll. Mm. Oof. Um. Uh, I think I'm going to, I'm going to hit you with it. So yeah. So that hits, it's going to do a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. Uh, it also is going to drain two magicka from you. Okay. And it's going to be. Well, that's a gross sword. One shift plus. So that's uh, seven, seven points of damage. One of okay. which is, oh no, that's the, yeah. Yeah, my shield will absorb one of those. So uh, I guess I'm taking a severe. Okay. <clears throat> then the Daedra. <laughs> mm-hmm. S- you okay, uh, Bertolus? You find you you're you're watching that blade. You've practiced this many times. You you so your eyes are on his, this attack, and you jump in, and you realize that you are now standing in between the Daedra and the bandit leader, who the Daedra was swinging at. I knew it. <laughs> Thanks, Bertolus. Oh. And uh, you rolled good enough to deflect the blow. Uh, the Daedra, the Daedra says to you, Razor, mm-hmm. your friends are idiots. <laughs> hey, don't let me in with him. I'm well aware. Please help. <laughs> I do this with As great I'm... displeasure. I will kill you. Uh, this looks real sheepish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll discuss that when we're done. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, I mean, Razor can probably take one more point of damage before dying. Right. Uh, Archer over on the core side. Also, uh, is going to shoot at you, guy, Razor. Yeah, guy who attacked me is also going to take. Damage from fire. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, you He's see scared. his armor uh, glowing as the flames kind of lap at him. They seem to be absorbing mm-hmm. 
the flame damage. Uh, can I spend a fate for Razor's defense and loose the arrow at the archer that I've been holding? I don't expect it to hit or do any damage. I'll, that's just distract that's him. two fate points that you spent on this, so I'll say, yeah, I'll take a fate point for it. Perfect. Well, we're just burning <clears> those fate <throat> points. That guys. gives you a five, which hopefully is enough to not get hit by an arrow. Mm -hmm. It is. Job, uh, job just barely by one point, or I guess two, since I've been going ties to the defender. Uh, that's everybody. That's all the bad guys. Oh, this dude. Uh, he, his, his, uh, his commander is in the fight. So he steps forward. Oh, yeah. And he's going to swing at the Drimora. Plink off its armor. Nothing. Not even the magic glowiness seems to help. Okay. So, Wynn, back to you. Uh, she's stabilized, right? Naomi is? Uh, appears to be so, you think? All right. I'm going to go after this son of a bitch. I mean, the big bad guy. <laughs> so, I'm going to do. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to kind of like. You know, I'm going to swing and kind of channel whatever it is I'm trying to channel that I'm failing at, but I'm going to swing and try to try to hit him. We'll see how that goes. All right. Uh, so it is four. Uh, and then I'm going to use my endurance. Uh, I'm going to kind of power through all this like emotional baggage to try to kill him. Um, so that is going to give me another two. Which will give me a six. Yeah. So maybe it might do something. I don't know. Might get his attention. Um, and I am gonna get him off of Razor, and I said that your fight's with me. And that's that's your attack. That was your. I mean, that's. I mean, that's all, all I right, can. What, what's the role? Skill role. That you're making. I'm just doing two-handed. Two-handed. Okay. Got it. Um, so he's yeah. got... He's got... Wait, I got six, too. He ah. had... So he's got a consequence and... Uh, oh, okay. Then I'm going to uh, tap that, too. A poison aspect. That you, you I'm going to tap his consequence. So that will make it an eight. Nine, ten, and you know what? Let's go for broke. Let's let's tap them all at once. So let's do ten damage. Invoke all that shit. Yeah. Oh, invoke all that shit. <laughs> She's very upset. I don't know if you could tell. Very. <laughs> so that's four shifts plus your three damage. Seven points of damage to him. Uh, no, because I already. Uh, so I got four, but I had the plus two that I added from one of my stunts. Ooh. So I had six, and then I tapped all all two of those. So that makes it. 10 from yeah. what i understand total. so he got a six on his defense so you got four so four. four shifts so over that four. Yep. plus your three damage yes so seven points of damage total yes okay yes he's going to try to absorb what little physical stress he had left and a ma another consequence. Some sort of consequence. All right. So he has another consequence. He's not looking too hot. Like now to those two blows and the poison is just eating away at him, making his life very difficult. Uh and we'll go to Zarasa. Okay. Oh, uh, one thing uh, I forgot to mention here. Uh, creeping towards you, Vale, across the, the walkway to the center platform is Dulavir. As he's like... Zarasa, <sighs> <sighs> uh, what do you want to do? No, I'm not going to shoot that guy. Um, Bertolis on deck. So there's a... Uh, I'm not too worried about the... Big bad guy, because they got that. But there's still that other guy on Razor, right? But there's also still a guy shooting from the darkness, right? Yes. Yep. 
that guy bugs me. I'm going to shoot at him. <laughs> you reposition yourself here a little bit and take your shot. I got a four. That's one shift. Yeah. Enough to hit him. Plus damage. Armor Plus three, piercing. so that's four and three armor piercing. That's not too good. He's not down, but he's very close to down. If I would, uh, say, spend a fate point and tap an aspect and give it a couple more, I think that would do a little more to him. What as what aspect? Yeah. <laughs> it would Don't do run, you'll only it die tired. It would do a little more to him, I'll say that. Yeah. Which one? Yeah. Don't run, you'll only die tired. He, uh, You shoot him, and he gets up to run, and he falls over. As you, The extra damage is enough to... He's got nothing, no more physical stress or... Fantastic. Or, uh, to absorb that. And he drops, drops down. Bertolus, Neo on deck. So this dude, he still wants, I mean, I don't know what he's saying. So it just looks like he's trying to help us. He sounded angry. I mean, it's just an angry language. It's like Klingon. They could be telling you they love you. I mean, <laughs> I love point, you. At some point, I'll just be like, D ignore the Daedra. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to, I mean, I got the big bad right behind me, so I'm just going to, like, spin around and yep. spin take around a hack at him. him. Um. Swing. Uh, I'll take a superb. Superb's not bad. Sorry, sorry, thinking, looking at stuff. Okay. And this is the big guy you're attacking, right? Yes. You're right there with. Yep. Ah, you hit him, and there's a potentially free consequence to invoke. Oh yeah, I'll definitely tap that consequence. So, so four shifts and plus six from my sword. Er. Oh wait, no, you got. Seven, that's four. Yeah, that is four shifts. Oh my gosh, math. Uh, four plus your damage. You heal that's one six. physical stress, which I don't think I've even hit you yet. Nope. <laughs> you know what's really funny is keep, the fighters have um, not been hit at all. One interesting thing that happens is he's he's trying to give commands in labored breaths now to his uh, one of his his last bandits here. And you smack him with that, and he he opens his mouth and is moving, and he, no sound is coming out of his mouth. Oh. Uh, Neil. Well, that's just weird. Oh, well, they did a lot of damage to him, though. That's right. Uh... Uh, yeah, I did. I did uh, ten points of damage to him. He's already. Uh, uh, Is he dead? Um, Are we done? Oh, uh, he drops down to a knee silently. There, and it, when his knee hits the ground, uh, it makes no noise. What? Well, uh, I'm gonna let Wen deal with that because vengeance and whatnot. Uh. Who else we got? Is there? There's one more bandit left, right? There is one who is yep, who was swinging at the uh, the Dremora. Well, they're swinging at him. It means he's not on their side. It's a puppy. Eh, well, <laughs> we'll fight. We'll fight the mook. That's so cute. 
<laughs> hey, buddy! He's, not he's better oh. than a mook. Oh, what a good the, boy. The slightly better than a mook. Oh. He's actually like two steps up from a mook. Oh, okay. Well. Mook plus plus. The mook guy that Zarasa plus. killed was one step above a mook, and then there were some mooks back. Anyway. Uh, yeah, you hit. That's very much one, true, only one shift plus damage. Yeah. And this so. guy's fresh. No, he's not That'll fresh. Be... He got singed. I lied. Is that a, enough to tap a thing or no? Nah? I mean, what do you mean enough to tap a thing? Is that a, is that a condition, a consequence, singed? Oh. Or no? Sure. It wasn't, but I like. I'm gonna give him his physical stress back and give him a consequence instead. Okay, then singed to make it a five. Uh, he's still just barely up. Fair enough. Right with your five, that's three, four points. Yeah, yeah. Actually, he's gonna take a moderate consequence to absorb that, and he's still got his fresh physical stress if he needs to but yeah. that's it that's a good that's good enough for running away or somehow surviving yep. which is now <laughs> stand down or into die this, coming into this man's mind is how am i going to get out, out of this alive drop your sword we might let you live <laughs> and just saying that's what you guys that's what the bad guy said when you guys came in here <laughs> <laughs> right. But they actively held a hostage. Yep. Okay. Uh, Razor. Cool. So uh, I'm very badly hurt. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a bad guy over yonder. Uh, yeah, the dude shooting arrows at me, I believe, is still up. He's down. No. Nope. Got oh. shot by Zarasa. Ah, I think all good. we have is the big bad. Oh, the big bad. The big yeah. bad and his one lackey. I mean you could uh, you could throw the Dremora in there as a bad guy if you really want to. Um, right. Well the Dremora's a bad guy, but he's not bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> so Sure thing, Ralph. Uh I think I'm just going to cast heal on myself right now. Good, good call. I'm going to stabilize my injuries. And then Veil. Okay. I, um, looking back, it, things look pretty good, but there's still like some strange magic stuff around the big bad guy there. So I'm going to get up on the uh, altar thing. And like, grab the spherical wheel thing and try and uh, like take control of the magic. Roll the, I mean, a magic uh, restoration, perhaps that would probably be your closest thing to take control of magic. That's what you, sure. when you roll, when you do a restoration, you're taking control of magic that just exists around you and in you. And you form it. Uh, I don't think it would be fun if I didn't throw a fate point on that. So um, I am the child of Mara. I can control this magic. Uh, so make that a four. Um, you pick it up. You stand up on the the thing. You pick it up. It's this. Yeah, it's like this. Uh, Two foot long cylinder that's maybe eight inches across with kind of a spherical bulge in the center where the magic is. And you can feel this thing. It's it's uh it feels like it's vibrating, but after a second of holding it, you realize it just has there are tempos, multiple different tempos that are all beating out uh, at a it kind of conflicting they don't really line up with one another. So that's why the pattern there's not the pattern's hard to detect that these are different as you can feel it like vibrating in your hands. Uh, the magical energy kind of like glowing a little bit, running along along the lines. 
Um, and, well, we're not going to waste your fate point, but you pick it up, you don't feel anything, and you're like, huh, just as Dulavir comes ugh, crawling up, uh, and he kind of stands there for a second, puts his hand out, you can feel something, a connection to him as, like, this kind of silvery blade just materializes in his hand and he puts it up against the uh, um, uh, the this container and like it opens like pieces of it kind of move apart the light spews out you hear notes and tones and there's a saw that's almost overpowering and with you can you can direct some of that in a restoration effect. What do you want to happen? Uh, I'm saying when it is time to sing quite loudly, and I'm gonna throw all the magic in Wind's direction for her to <laughs> do with as she pleases. Uh, so uh, Vale standing on top of the thing uh, with Dulavir holding out a silvery, small, thin sword that you don't know where he got that from. Uh, and all of a sudden, noise, tones, uh, just start o echoing through this entire chamber. Uh, what do you do? And then, then Vale says, it's time to sing, Win. What do you do? Me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. Well, I'm going to. I'm. Why not? I'm just gonna sing. And so I do. What do you sing? Uh, I sing uh a few like notes, probably uh, like an old song from a tribe that's been handed down from one wise person to another. Um. Mm. So I sing about that. You, your shoulder has been glowing this whole time without you really noticing. As magic starts coursing your way. And you hear a voice inside your head be like, oh, hey, something's happening. This feels weird. And then... Oh God, there you are. <laughs> and then uh, there's this kind of materializing in the middle of the air in between you and Vale. Dirt, sand, water, trees, bushes, just erupts. In the middle of there, just washing, put, running into you guys, burying you in sand, uh, filling this chamber up. Uh, after a moment, everybody gets covered. You're all underneath maybe a couple of feet of this loosely packed oasis that has suddenly appeared in this room. Huh. Oh, uh, everybody... Huh. Uh, if you have a consequence, you can lower it by one as the magic of the oasis hits you all at the same time. So you can eliminate a minor and just basically have to shift everything down and get rid of the minor. Oh, dope. I'm 100% hoping that applies to NPCs and bad guys. And but, bad yeah. guys, yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, can I hold my sword out to the bad guy's neck after i'm done singing uh you're covered in dirt oh, oh yeah never mind i can't move you have got to, it you can you can move you find yeah. yourself pulling your pulling out of this mm -hmm. um and there's a bird sitting on the ground right in front of your face as you kind of <clears throat> and take your first breath as everybody starts ex extracting themselves from being buried is this a familiar bird? It's a multicolored bird. Yeah. That's kind of okay. hopping around. I was, I was wondering where you were. I I give it a look, but like in my head, I like start holding a conversation with it. Like, where were you? Huh? Well, I was right here the whole time. You were asking for help and I was trying to help. And then I felt a lot of magic. And so I did the only thing I know, which is be an oasis. <laughs> It's pretty exciting. Look at this. I don't think I want to be stuck in here for very long, though. Is As this continuing to 
expand? Uh, no, no, no. It is stopped. It oh, okay. is ceased. Uh, Veil, you're, uh, you probably got knocked backwards off the, the thing. You are still holding on to this uh, cylinder container. Um, it's just got the, it's still vibrating, but it's still got the, uh, and it's still got the, the glowing, uh, magic light coming from it, uh, but it's no longer open and you no longer hear the music, the song. Yeah. I'm worried about two NPCs that are next to me. They've both got buried in dirt. So (laughs) (laughs) the canister the cylinder, excuse me, uh, kind of down, and I'm like going to try and start uh, shuffling dirt off of um, Dulaver, Dulaver, and uh, unnamed, potentially dead guy. Um, unnamed, both Dulaver and unnamed, potentially dead guy, you find as you're unbearing them. Are they seem even more healed than they were? He doesn't seem potentially dead. He seems mostly alive. Underneath there. Uh, Dulavir is also his... The worst of his wounds have been by the... I mean, he was underneath wet sand. And the water is starting to kind of pool down in the, the lower portions of this of this room. Yeah. The rest of you... Uh, the bad guy pulls himself out and is mostly buried. His ha- body's still half underneath. Uh, I think I'm gonna, he's he he tosses his sword aside. Yep, as you guys all. I'm gonna I'm gonna go grab that once I get out of the sand. Cause no, no, thank you. Uh, the the last remaining bandit sees his leader do that and uh, also drops the the Dremora has quickly gotten himself out of uh the dirt and the sand and is standing close to where razor is mostly buried as well and he's just standing there watching you uh you get up and go get a sword yeah what else you guys this is i'll answer questions but uh i mean We've Sandra, don't don't mind me. I'm just struggling to get out of the hole. I'll be fine. I, I help pull him out. I go up to him. And I just I reach out with a hand to Bunbury. pull him out of the Yeah. But I keep an eye on the other dude, you know, and kinda of stand between him and the other person. Mm-hmm. So you look better than you were. I give a side eye to Razor. <laughs> uh, well, <clears throat> no, he looks terrible. Uh, despite uh, my grievous injuries, they're actually not that bad. Nothing Is the bird still hopping around? Nothing life threatening, I assure you. I'm glad. I was kind. I was worried when all those people rushed you. Right. Well, me and this guy over here pointing at the Daedra, we uh, have come to a bit of an understanding as I hold the, the small device. You in understand my hand. nothing. Mm. Okay. You keep saying that, but I'm not the monkey in the box. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Well, you guys deal with this. I'm going to go over to Vale. <laughs> what is that? What? Is, what? I, I'm confused. Hmm? Oh, this is a Daedra. I was fighting a Daedra? Yeah. A rather tough one, too. Very bloodthirsty. Uh, <laughs> but apparently this device here is what binds him and uh, controls him for the most part. It would have been good to know before I jumped in the way. that. Well, you couldn't have known. And it all worked out. <clears throat> now that he's relatively on a leash, although I still wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him, Oh, uh, I go up to the leader guy, who is still buried. Then, or he's uh, unburied. He started to unbury himself. Looked around, just kind of re- read the room, realized 
they were losing, they were going to lose, and he surrenders. Tosses a sword. Uh, Neo picks it up, and he's so he's just left himself half buried, and he's just all right. Uh, I hold uh, my sword up to him regardless. I just want to know why. Why? I want to know why, why your people destroyed our homeland. They do no such they thing. decided to preserve the weapon that did it. I lost everything. Everything's been taken from me. I have nothing left to lose, so... Ah. Well, if that's the case. I, uh, put my sword away. I was like, then, I hope you live the rest of your life lonely, pathetic, and alone. This... <clears throat> this is... This is punish... This is your punishment? I have one goal. Yeah, that always and, he's, he's that's I have one goal. And that is for the song that you cannot have anymore. It's been done. Do what you have to. I'll do what I have to. Then what is your goal in the end? I'm not telling. Hmm. I look over. <laughs> I'm gonna look over at Neolith with Elfineth. Uh, <clears throat> hey, Wynn, do you wanna help uh, Vale with these guys? I'm having a not as strong as you. I can't dig them out of the sand as well, and I'll uh, I'll deal with this guy. And somebody should probably make sure and dig out Naomi if. Also, that you could dig Na Naomi out as well. Just uh. Just don't, just don't look she, over here real quick. It might have healed her. She might not be dead. Uh, I'm gonna go in and bury Naomi then, wherever she was last. Vale didn't see any of the like healing of Naomi or anything like that. He just saw her throat get cut, and that was the last he saw of the situation. So yeah. Um, uh, Zarasa, what are you, what are you doing? No, I'm getting myself out of the sand first because that's odd. Very. And then I'm. So, thanks. Uh huh. Yeah. Looking, looking around to make sure there's nobody else hiding in the shadows. Mm. I mean, this is this is a abandoned and some dude, so they can deal with him. I'm just going to make sure there's nobody else sneaking up on us. <laughs> well, your arrival was uh, expertly timed. Uh, also, this was a, a massive help. Yeah, I thought that might be helpful. I was told that my job, my hunt, as it were, was not finished. Mm. Well, I'm glad it wasn't. It certainly looked like you could use the help. <laughs> you don't say. Understatement of the century. <laughs> it hurts to laugh. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I understand that. <laughs> Yeah, and Zerasa does kind of grab his ribs a little when he chuckles, too. So. Oh, God, we're all a mess. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'm in a good state of denial at this point. Uh-huh. Yes, well, <laughs> unluckily, or maybe luckily for you, all of your emotional, all of your damage was emotional. <laughs> um, Right. There is a, a multicolored bird shifting colors that is hopping around uh, from shoulder to shoulder, a wind's shoulder to shoulder, as it kind of, and it looks just very excited. So are you going to introduce us to your friend, or are we just going to pretend that? Oh, I'm going to pretend fine. it doesn't exist. Yeah, I went with option two. <laughs> pretend it doesn't exist. <laughs> Did we ever not, come up with a name for it? Not a bad choice, I guess. I didn't write uh, it down if we did. You, I think I you did name it. I did name I it, didn't I? don't know if I wrote that down. So it's uh. all Christina's fault. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go Tayir. God damn it, Greg. Tayir. 
Tyre. So T A Y I R. Tyre. Kevin. It's the Kevin. Magical bird, Kevin. <laughs> Tyre. So be it. His name is Tyre. Tyre. Its name. You know, it just thought of itself as Oasis before, so Tyre works. Oh, so yeah. Maybe hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me look something up. How do you spell T A I R to T A apostrophe T A Y I R? Or I could do Waha. T A. Okay, no apostrophe. Waha. He just doesn't like those. W A H A A H. Uh huh. W A. I I like I like Tyre. Tyre. Because Waha is better than I mean Tyre is better than Waha or Waha. That that you are not wrong. To peer? Yep. T T A Y I R. Okay. Yeah. So it's been hopping. Yeah. Uh, its name is Tyre. Mm. Odd. That's it's, new. It's no, um. I- I don't know exactly where it goes, but it does decide not to show. Oh, was that the glowy thing that was in your armpit earlier? What? <laughs> earlier, I saw a glowing thing out of your armpit. It was out of my armpit. It was on your yeah. shoulder, not your armpit. <laughs> Looked like an armpit to me. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Um, did I spot? <laughs> I'm not gonna unpack that for a second. I uh, I'm gonna look for Naomi and get her out. Yeah. Uh, you go. She's so down the hallway, just a little ways. It's mm-hmm. there's less dirt. She's easier to kind of find and brush away all the the dirt, the the moist, watery dirt, and like the couple of shrubs that somehow landed out here um, as you push that away. She's unconscious on the ground. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pick her up uh, and move her closer to the group of people just because it's safer than having her on the outside. Speaking of the other... The one that Vale was saving, healing, and Dulavir. Where where that group? Have you examined that yet? Uh, So my... Uh, goal is to kind of get both of them up and if they can sit up, you know, uh, I imagine us sitting on the altar with like our feet in the dirt, um, kind of just watching what's going on. Uh, at least from Vale's perspective, he's pretty like enamored by beautiful colored birds and just kind of sitting there with the cylinder on his lap. Um, but, and perhaps turning towards uh, Dulavir or the other guy um, and you know, asking Dulavir about that sword thing. What was that? That seemed important. He's like, uh, you know, a hand on wound. And he's like, it just felt like it had to be done. That was, when we were at the Oasis, that was like the hardest thing. Na- like, Naomi kept telling me not to force it, not to force it. And then I couldn't. I just wasn't working while Wynn was off talking to spirits or something. I just couldn't get it to work. I couldn't get anything. And then it just felt right. It felt like the thing I was doing. And there was no other, there was no other option. And then you were holding it out and I could hear the the music and I, I was just d- drawn to it, and I I don't know if I could do that again if I had to, but I'm glad you were there, Vale. Is the other guy conscious or not? No. Uh, yeah, no. I'm going to say no. Hey, but you propped him up. Uh, maybe he might have moved a little bit when you when you, you sit, set him up, and he hasn't, like, slouched over. He, and even in fact, he maybe have moved his leg a little bit and is his eyes are closed. He may be semi-aware that he's in a sitting position up against a, the altar there. Oh, which is mostly covered now with 
dirt that is slowly like falling off the edge down into the lower splooshing down below Uh, but yeah, I'm not. Vale isn't particularly motivated to do much. He's kind of just basking in the "we succeeded," and he's he thinks this is, at least to some extent, the song of life uh, that he's got hang here. So um, he's just uh, enjoying himself and looking around at the crazy stuff that's going on. Nice. What else would you uh, do? Well, I'm. I want to ask the big baddie a, a couple of questions. Sure. Speaking you know, of, did you? Uh, I'm assuming you didn't see my message, Casey. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that as a no. That would be no. Why don't you go resolve that real quick, then I'll tell you what I'm doing. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh You you may go to. Uh, I I are you public about this are you being sneaky i mean i'm not being ostentatious about it i assume they're all busy with their own shit at the moment yeah you go so uh aaron you you think you want to ask that guy some questions and like neil lilfanith has been like is like poking him off to the side and talking to him quietly um do we want to type this out or you want to me to mute everybody else or deafen everybody else <laughs> Yes, and then like the rest well, of the people know what's going on. Let's leave that up to the chat. We've done that yeah. once before. Does chat, would you rather side combo this or? I think the chat should hear what you guys are doing, but then we get deafened for it. Because that's always fun. That's my vote. It was very entertaining to just flail our arms madly <laughs> while we had no idea what was happening. Good point. Side combo does build paranoia. That is very true, Shagora. Well, of course he would say that. Yeah, so we should totally take his advice, right? The the Diedrich One Prince vote, of Madness. Vote. <laughs> yeah. Um, and right. then my last question, though, here is, does okay. does um, uh, Bertolus give you the... Because, Bertolus, you look over and see this. You can walk up if you would and interrupt if you so desire. Uh, I'll give her. I'll give her the space. Cool. Deafen yourself, then. All right, hold on. Deafen. Bam. Oh, no, oh, no. It'd be great if they could um, uh, still hear each other in the background while they're, everybody's deafened. Have side conversations. Yeah. Uh, Razor is still not deafened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rob. One second. Hey, all right. Uh, so for those yeah. of you just joining us, I crouched in front of the big bad while he was still partially buried and said, I can kill you or you and I can have a conversation away from these people. He, and uh, that indicates that he agreed. He nods and he slowly stands up. He's still wounded. Mm -hmm. um, but he will, lead, you know, you gesture at a direction. I don't know. Side of the room, down the previous chambers? Well, just kind of sort of away from the rest okay. of the group while they do their thing. I don't want to leave the room with him, because I'm pretty sure even if he is injured, he's a very good chance that he is physically stronger than I am. And so, that seems right. dangerous. <laughs> so. But you kind of, he, he takes a few steps away and looks at, looks, looks at you, looks over at the, the rest of the group, and is... And then uh, put, sends an inquisitive look back to you. You said that her people, or at least the, the tribe that she comes from, destroyed yours. What do you mean? Hmm. Many, many generations ago, her people, they destroyed... Our homeland sank it beneath the sea using this magic, this, this strange magic that they have. When I was young, some of her 
warriors, some of the her people's warriors, killed my family and left me behind. It's not just revenge. It's, it's a noble mission I've been on. But I will admit that revenge... It's what puts the motivation in you. And with every innocent you've killed, every assassin you've fought off, innocent? every dark corner you've turned in your mission for vengeance, have you felt better? Do you think your parents would like what you've done? It's Do you this, think this is a this, war you'll win in the end? Clearly not. Then Are you I, going to execute me? If you want me to. I know sometimes that being alive when everything you know is dead can be difficult. It's either I wouldn't wish that. You, if you don't end want me it. here or I will find and he looks over at uh Wynn and the man who was the unnamed man, uh and Naomi and Dulavir. And he's like, I will find them eventually. Fair enough. I sympathize with you. If you'll allow me, I'll give you the honor of ending your own life, or I can end your life for you. But your cause is lost. There's so much other things you could do. You have charisma, obviously. Look at the men you got to follow you. But if you want to waste it, this is your chance. Give me a blade, and I'll do the deed. I'll hand him one of my daggers. Okay. He stands there for a moment, looks at you, looks over at the others. And then he turns his back on you. Uh, then maybe we can have them undeafen. Yep. Let's see if they get their attention. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow, hey. that's really loud. It worked. After a lot of <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to take it undeafening given the freaking out up there. <laughs> Arm flailing. The perfect signal. Uh, you so you finally to decided to kill me. Is that it, Neo? Yes. Do you walk no away then, opportunity. Neo? Or do you stand uh, I'll over wait there? until he's finished and then I'll okay. go back to the group. Uh, so what happens is, so you let everybody's dealing, there's wounds to be tended to um, and I think uh, we'll have a little aside that while that was going on, I want to bring a little bit of focus to win and like everything's getting together and you're we've kind of are you the guy who we have not named the npc who got his throat also slit do you look at, i mean how close do you get to him what's your i don't want to force I'm, you to i'm bringing naomi over to Vale because he's our resident healer okay. i mean it just makes sense um so i guess like i should be close enough to take a look at him after i place naomi down yeah uh, you, you didn't recognize before and you realize it's because, oh my gosh, like clearly has been emaciated a bit here. And I mean, this, it's your dad. It's your dad. Of course. What? <laughs> what? There you go. No. Who I was 100% planning on killing. You were, I, well, I was, I was shocked you didn't, but, uh, but thank you for not killing my dad. And I'm know, just apparently looking Apparently you stay character. alive for five minutes after you get your throat slit. I mean, to the experts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I had their names written down somewhere. And yeah, I yeah you send me a message about it. Sorry, it. I, I should have had that prepared. I'm just going to, I'm just going to say in uh, my native <sighs> tongue, I was like, nope. dad? I mean, he's probably he's unconscious and stuff, but I'm still gonna like devolve into my native tongue and then, um, kind of yeah, go over to him too. Yeah. What an awkward family reunion. Yeah. 
Uh-huh. Um, he, at your voice, his eyes crack open. And he, you tears. Tears, so, yeah. As he, Lots like, weakly lifts up an arm, a hand at you. I fall into his, uh, his, like, I won't fall into his body because, like, it's weak and frail. But I, like, wrap my arms around him. Um, and I uh, try to stifle the sounds of my sobbing. Um, but, yeah, that's what I do. trying to bring up the name but apparently you just I, gotta search yeah <laughs> um, like, so I, while like, this is happening everybody yeah. uh maybe notices who's standing nearby this heartfelt embracing you there's a muffling kind of uh and a slicing noise and dripping uh as the big bad evil guy crashes to the ground <laughs> and then neo you take your dagger back yep uh, and then Neo leans leans over, grabs a dagger that the guy apparently had, and you do what you do. Yep. I will f- finish him off and then rejoin the group. Yep. Oh. And he could not be reasoned with. What's uh? What's all this then? Win looks very happy. Ah! That's I, a that's... reasonable explanation. That's her father. Oh. Well, it's doubly good that Vale was able to save him then. I don't suppose that man had anything useful to say before he died. Uh, apparently at some point in history, the clan that Wynn is from used this magic to sink his clan's city beneath the sea, so, you know. Uh, oh. Inconsolable mission of vengeance, or something like well, that. So it so goes out not very well. Yeah, he didn't care to elaborate. Uh, the stories of the Red Guard people are very vast and widely different speculations concerning about what happened to them and why they came here. I suppose that explanation is as good as any other. Well, um, I think we have the first thing that I hold up the cylinder. Uh, This at least was where the song of life was. I'm not sure if it's still in there and I'll like, roll it over towards Razor, or hand it, depending on what the train looks like. Right. That's what we came here for? I, I mean, it did so. materialize an oasis. Uh, so. Well, no, I, I thought that was the first. This is, uh, this is what we're looking for. Paying attention. Attention. Feels like maybe there's... Uh, I was not paying attention. I found Wynn's parents' name. Yay! <laughs> is there a question for me? I feel like maybe. Uh, yeah. Is this thing what we're looking for? Ah, yes. Is this the MacGuffin that you're yes. looking for? Um, just looking for a. of life unless it's just being screened went into the ether I don't know I don't know how to answer that question Uh, this simple if you were playing an Elder Scrolls game right it would give you the objective of go to get the song of life from this place right Um, the little when you pick it up it would check off that task from your journal (laughs) Whether or not that is the truth, like this is the song, you know. Right. Or if it was just. That is going to stay in the secrets of RPG dumb and uncertainty right. and the world this of may Elder not Scrolls. Be the song, 
But this is a quest item, so we're going to hold on to it. <laughs> well, if it's a quest item, you can't get rid of it, so... Right. Okay, quick, right. drop it! Right. <laughs> but it's so heavy! It is. It's unwieldy. <laughs> it does weigh, Vale. It does weigh, oh, 40 pounds or something. You had to, you had to like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe not that, that much. 20 pounds? <laughs> you had to, like... <laughs> Well, here you go, Wynn or Bertulus. You get to carry that now. Yep. Um, we also I have guess. Camels. Uh, yeah, that's true. We have camels. I'll carry it when we don't have. Yeah, camels. all you. I mean, this is this is your your thing, kind of. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the song uh, was in the cylinder or surrounded by it, and. Um, Dulavar here uh, ignited that with his own, uh, with his sword, a symbol of uh, his people, and uh, created, uh, released it, one might say, um, to the effects, some of the effects here. Um, but I do not know if the cylinder is the song or if the song is now released and elsewhere. Um, and that something, something else might make the song of life or embody it. And I, Vale kind of swings his gaze towards the multicolored bird that is probably really close right now, um, and uh, looks at it. Oh, I had him before this, or we—he was with me before that. Uh, it can talk. It, it says, it's like, oh, he's looking at me. Wow. Hi, person, human. Uh, and uh, you may see its beak opening and closing, uh, but nobody else can hear it. Is he's it saying, he's saying you're the, um, he says that you're the embodiment of the song of life or something. I do like songs and life. I'm not sold. Well, what if we just keep them both until we can figure it out? <laughs> ah, I promised him some adventure outside his oasis. Perfect. But, um... Perhaps we should rest, and I'm quite curious as to learning some more about uh, my tribe's history and the sinking of a place that we really never spoke about. And I look over uh, at Naomi, who is still unconscious, and I look over at my dad. But maybe some food first. Hey, uh, Lackey, you, over there whose name isn't important in any way, shape, or form. Do you promise to uh, not seek out vengeance on this group specifically, so long as you may live, if we let you go? Um, and if you lie to me, I will find you in the shadows of the night. Make sure you pay for it. Or you can do what your boss did. It's an honorable death. I... Unless you need assistance. That's very true. He we'll more than leave capable. and never come back. All right. It's nice meeting you. Never see you again. He slowly kind of backs up and then turns and like <laughs> <laughs> runs off. I follow him. I, I, I watch him with a knocked arrow as he leaves just to make sure he keeps going. <laughs> not taking it back up behind me. I follow him. <laughs> Uh, I, mean, I don't necessarily need to, get, need to get rid of him right now, so we're okay. Unless he tries something, in which case, then he can eat this arrow. Do a surreptitious glance in Vale's direction before helping with the gathering of people to go not be in this room for food. Cool. Vale nods. So you guys kind of gather up 
I mean, I guess there's not a lot of stuff left in here, but you make your way back through the haven. Um, past the songs of joy and loss and bounty and sorrow. Um, back up into the main kind of central room uh, where you defeated the trap. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, just outside is the desert uh, and the the bandit camp. I'm uh, I'm gonna go keep watch. Let me know when the food is ready, and I'll take a break. Are there bandits still in the camp? I mean, it's on fire. Or you guys ran should... past the tents when you came through. First, you did set them on fire too. Oh, yeah. Did you set them on fire? Wait, yes. Yeah. Okay. We did. At least one of them. At least one. So the yeah, big, the big one burned down. We'll say the three small ones that were kind of off, further away from you. Uh, the one big one was close to the entrance, so it had been easy to to light. So that one's well, worked out. That would have been awkward otherwise. Yeah, it would have been. We would have had a time continuum malfunction. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll I'll go make sure the camp is clear. Okay. I'll warn him about uh, about one of the tents might explode. What? Just well, which one? That one there. I'll point at point at one of them. Okay, that one. That one. Just, like wait, like randomly, or if I go in there? If you disturb anything inside it. Cool. So two tents. <laughs> I'll go check out the other ones. <laughs> you look in the other two tents. There's not a lot of. St there, it looks like there's some gear and equipment and things in here, but uh, uh, sl multiple sleeping mats are laid out inside. Uh, yeah, you don't look in the third one. No, I don't go test it. No, there's explosives in there. Are you kidding me? Okay. <laughs> Uh, I guess we place the unconscious people inside at least one of the tent uh, tents. Uh, yeah, two of the ones that you're allowed to touch, or the third one. The two. Should ones we that move we're this campsite away from the bomb? I mean, I mean, it's already there as long as we know not to go in there. A gust of wind could set it off. I trust his skills more than that. I speaking of, who are you? Oh, he's oh. A friend. friend that we met in the oasis while you were oh, yes. uh, gallivanting on the island. You were the one that was busy in the middle of that uh, that oasis, weren't you? Yes, and you must be the person who helped them not die while I was in the oasis. Yes, that is correct. Well, I, s I can say that you are a great warrior. Thank you. Warrior. One thing to notice that the multicolored bird, the spirit, it disappears when you leave the the room. Mm -hmm. That that uh, the bit, the large chamber, it it disappears. Okay. Um, if you go back in uh, there, it'll show back. I mean, it's it's tied to the oasis, so. It is <gasps> my little bird friend. Well, okay. It's still with you, but it yeah. only you can only manifests in that room. Got it. Is your little bird friend hiding in your armpit again? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I give I give you a look. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm I'm gonna go get up on that column for a vantage point. Cool. Uh, food. Yeah. Someone's making food. It's like late at night, right? Cause it is we get late this at night, night yes. So, um, but I still think that like fire and food are good before uh, bed, and then uh, we will rest and see what morning brings. Um, yeah. I always like to eat after a long night of killing. <laughs> Who's For making food? Long. Who's actually making the food? I guess I could. 
Do I have any food making skill? I mean, what do you do with that? Is it like a scholarship role? Like I you know so. recipes? Yeah, I think it's I guess scholarship would be the okay. closest. So, so it turns not... out Razor's a good cook. <laughs> Razor. <laughs> Well, I suppose I can cook. Uh, oh, no, I'll I'll alchemy. Uh, I'm going to make it alchemy. Yeah, I think that's a good argument for oh, alchemy. Oh, well, then Neil that's a better good. argument. Yep. <sighs> Fine. Maybe you see Bertolus, like, start to just grab random spices and be like, what do I do? Is, do I use this? I... <laughs> <laughs> Save us from me. Uh, all right. Uh, I will make the food. But as soon as it is done, I'm going to go be on watch. Youths. Just make me an alchemy roll for funsies. Make us an alchemist roll. Oh, I almost put that in the wrong chat channel. That would have doomed everyone. Oh, average. the doom. It's average food. I mean, it's, supposed to, it's supposed to be bland anyways. It's... Well, I can take my time, so can I apply Hunter's Patience to this to get a plus one and make it a two? Good. Yeah, alright. So it's, a, so it's a, a fair. It's a fair meal. Uh, you take, you but take it, the it probably up. tastes even better because of the recent, like... Bloodshed. It. Like, there's no... Mm -hmm. Naomi isn't yelling at you guys to like, okay, let's get move. Let's go to the next thing. You guys have a moment to be like, <sighs> take a breath. Like there's no, you guys have to figure out your next steps. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll spend a little bit of time chatting with this Daedra. <laughs> ah, yes. It follows you around um, and does what you say. Probably curses at you the entire time. Yeah, it does not right. like you. To be it's fair, like, it didn't like its previous. It didn't like its masters. previous owners. It was like, let me guess. Your master is, I'm going to say, Mayrun's Dagon. Once. Once it was, yes. Um, do you. Wait, wait, wait. It does not answer. Do you come. You can tell it to tell you the truth. You have to force it. It will not voluntarily answer your questions. Well, then I'll make him answer the questions. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, like, once my master was Mavens, yes. But not anymore. Uh, if I could go back, I would. Well, as it just so happens, I'm trying to uh, repair the rift between our world and Oblivion. So, uh, if you decide to help me out, which you don't really have a choice, but I'm offering it to you anyways, help me. We repair the rift, and I'll give you my word that I'll release you. And you can go back to your home plane. Do I have a choice? I mean, you do. I mean, I could technically order you to stand in a hole and bury yourself and wait there till the end of time. I'd rather have you helping me willingly, All right. or at least as willing as you're able. I'll help. Good. I'm glad we got that settled. The sooner we get this quest done, the sooner you can go home. Excellent. Well, team, we have a new party member. That guy? He tried to kill me. Well, technically, I wouldn't feel too special about that. He would try to kill anybody. I look at Doolittle. I, I mostly feel special because he couldn't kill me. <laughs> mm, you got close. I didn't take any harm from him. 
Well, that wouldn't have lasted too long. <laughs> unlike, uh, unlike him, you run out of steam. Wow. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Well, I'm just saying, an extra frontline fighter would be, uh, wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. The food uh, gets prepared. Uh, Neo, do you take some with you and you just you go off on your own? Uh, you manage to get Naomi and your father, Wynn, mm -hmm. uh, some food. Uh, they are very thankful. Um, he asks you how you found him. Sheer dumb luck. And if I didn't you even found, know it was... if you found your mother, they were together. I, I look over at Naomi. <laughs> uh, the I was told that everybody was murdered. I honestly wasn't even looking for you. We were captured. We were prisoners for a long time. Then a few days Help ago, up. a few months, I suppose. Right. You guys said you were captured. Where? Where did you guys? Where were you guys last located? Was it here? Last Somewhere I saw, else. Last I saw, she was in. They had her. Uh, tied up over there she's right. not here no win and he puts his hand out and grabs you it's like you're I'm so proud uh, I want to draw a particular uh, notice of this uh, to Bertolus. In fact, I'm going to give you a fate point and compel you on your trouble if you want. Or no, one of your... It's not your trouble. It's something else. Your trouble is duty, right? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah, but this makes you think of uh, your own daddy issues. As, as he's like, I'm so proud of you when what you've... That, cut, that cuts deep, especially after Razor just dismissed his accomplishment of like fighting this Daedra for several minutes. <laughs> <laughs> he's like the father of this group, and he's just like, yeah, wh whatever, stop stop talking to me. Do I hear any of, any of, the, any of that conversation? Uh, now, yeah, now Bertolus is going to go wander off on his own. If you're there eating the food, Neo's really the only one who's not. So Bertolus goes off on his own as well. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, everybody's... Uh, Separate cool. party. Woohoo! Yeah, Zarasa, yeah. you would hear that. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> so your, so your mother is a red guard, is that correct? Yes. Then you must check in that other tent. Give me a second and I will see if I can disarm the trap. I'll go try to disarm it. Okay, uh, yeah, I think you're able to disarm it. We're not going to make a roll there. I think it's appropriate. You're able to... You come out with the... Basically, it wind it around. You could... It'll spring. It's it's going to blow up at some point. So you can throw it out into the middle of the desert and shoot yeah. it with an arrow or untie it. Or yeah, whatever. get, get ready. You'll figure out to do something. Right but yeah, yeah, you're able to do that. Okay. Uh, okay. It's now safe. Your father is, he's, he having, he can't really stand very well, and, but he's, he puts an ar his arm on you and puts his weight and yeah. starts. He's, I help him over. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he moves the <laughs> tent flap and you can see inside. Uh, there are two bodies in here. Live bodies? They are not moving. One of them is bound up. One of them is uh, a Morik Tong assassin. Uh, I go to the tied up body. 
And I check for life. Okay. She has sojourned her last s s sojourn. Uh, I look over, I'm assuming I probably just left my dad, like, leaning on the tent mm -hmm. flap or something, ah, and I just shake my head at him, because I'm unable to, like, formulate the words. They're kind of just stuck in my throat. He nods. Again, tears. Um, he takes a few steps in, silent, and again, and he kneels down next to the body. He puts his hands on her. She's um, she's cold. Um, he says we should conduct the rites and see to her funeral. Uh, yeah, of course. It will help win. I I don't say too much because I'm still like, I'm kind of like, it's like a lot of self-loathing and anger is coursing through me because I feel like I could have done something and I didn't. Um, uh, so I go about preparing. Um, but before I leave the tent, I look at him. Do you want me to move you to the other tent or do you want to stay here while I prepare? I'll stay. Right. Uh, and so then I go and I start preparing for the funeral. Yeah. What are the funeral rites of a... Uh, so it's just, I'm going kind of Star Wars-y on this. So oh, it's cool. going to be like a funeral pyre. Not a lot of... Oh, there was a network error. Is this just me or is it that? Hmm? Is the stream still going? Yeah. Yeah, uh, looks like it. Thing? Cool. So, uh, yeah, not a lot of wood in the desert for funeral pyres, but, you know, maybe enough. And it's is Elder Scrolls, after all. There's crazier things. Right. Uh, I also go up to Razor, then. Do you uh, think you could assist uh yes uh, actually the, the, similarly the dunmer also burn their dead so i'm well familiarized with this custom i appreciate it i'm more than willing to help all right uh, and i will stand next to the body and i will use uh yeah, we'll use my ancestor spirits. Uh, I like it. <laughs> yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, we'll use ancestor spirits to send this soul back to, uh, okay. you know, off to the afterlife. So all that's going to take a little while, and I'm sure there's more to it than just building a pyre and lighting it on fire. Right. right. There's a lot more. Um, Kick the you pyre. Know, body ready and all that jazz. Plug in a wire. Climb the spire. You might perspire. Might perspire. Yeah. Anyway, I want to check in with Vale real quick, though, while this mm -hmm. is going on and they're getting ready. A uh, win is silently constructing a funeral pyre. Oh, uh, not too much. Um, vale is content. Uh, he's just kind of watching. Um, win may find that. Uh, Vale's gaze seems to follow her around with a seeking uh, expression a little bit. Uh, but in general, uh, he's just watching in silence as we see at least some symbols of the the death that has come here. And, and he's hoping that soon the Song of Life will do that and that we'll have uh, life to bring. Um. Yeah, so you're looking at the others as wind goes about uh, prepping this funeral pyre razor 
uh, mm-hmm. kind of helping and and all, but all, you know, having this conversation with a Dremora, a Daedra, wearing mm-hmm. devilish armor still. Uh, is Rasa, I imagine, helping as well? What are you? Uh, what are you doing? Oh, uh, I'd probably stay out of the way as much as possible just because okay. I'm not really really part of that. I might go out. Quite and... somber. Uh, yeah. It, Vale, as you also notice that um, Neo and Bertalus are kind of off on their own. Like, I, I'm not together alone, but separately alone. Yes, Bertalus, Neo? Yeah, unless unless she comes and finds me, but I don't think she's going to do that. <laughs> hey! All right, so yeah. Um, takes a little while to construct that pyre. Um, the, the two of you, uh, Bertolis, you know, you would notice that that's going, ba- that's happening back at the, um, as Wynn is going about. Um, yeah. And there's a funeral. What, tell me more about this funeral. Uh, uh so like the preparing of the body is very important. So she's taking out like her water canteens and stuff and she's like cleaning off the dirt. Um, uh, probably like taking out some of her clothes that she has and like redressing her so she looks more you know, less yeah. less dead i guess she um so she does that. yeah so and it's just like there's a lot of murmuring and a lot of low pitched songs that are going out about this like mm-hmm. just like usual like dirges i guess um as this body is being prepared so there's like a lot of musical elements to it um and as like the body is being taken over to where the pyre is going to be, like it turns into more of a like a Gregorian chant kind of a thing going on. Oh, cool. so it changes. Yeah, and then uh, body, pyre, and fire. Mm-hmm. From. Uh, do you do the others? Do you guys come around for this? Are you keeping your distance? What's? I'll I'll come back when it looks like things are coming to a a, a ceremonial end. I guess. I do not. Uh, the pyre is lit. The singing and chanting continues. Uh, melancholic from. Wind's father, um, and eventually drifts away as the pyre kind of collapses and the body um, I've never personally witnessed I don't actually know what happens, but yeah reference movies and scenes you've seen in media yep uh. uh. Cool. And you, at this point, maybe there's a, you can see on the, the horizon that the sky is starting to lighten up some more. Uh, and dawn is approaching. Uh, Neo, roll. No, don't roll. I'm just going to, I was just going to try to fake you out. You're keeping a watch on. It's going to make you roll perception, and then no matter what, you weren't going to see anything. You're out there looking. Uh, I think we end up staying, like at least me and my father end up staying until the fire dies down. Uh, yeah, I'll offer up a, I'll offer up a prayer to Azura for, for the funeral. I will probably silently do one as well. Yeah, um, Vale will come up and um, after, you know, as other people are giving words and um, himself say, um, I give my blessing and my mother's blessing and hope that the death here and the fire is a renewal and that we all will see life again. So that 
the 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 sun does rise, um, and you guys are in the desert. What? Uh, what's the plan? You're tired. You've been up all night. Sleep. I don't want to go walking through the desert during the day. Yeah, that's not the smartest thing to do. <laughs> then I propose we wait until evening, then, before we head off to our next destination. Yeah. So there's a whole day that goes by. I... Mostly spent resting and sleeping. Yeah. I'm going to uh, take care and like help get my dad back to health, or at least a lot less emaciated. Uh, probably... Am I assuming the other two people are conscious, right? Yeah. So everybody comes back. Naomi. Okay. Uh, she also participated in the funeral as well. Mm -hmm. Got it. Um, and even just the, the couple hours, the food and the couple hours of rest, both your father and Naomi are looking better. And then also probably give them some of that water, the Oasis water, yeah. too. Just to help with that. Knock down mm -hmm. another set of consequences. Mm hmm Sure. But Wynn is not going to sleep. Oh. What's she gonna do? I'd probably just uh keep watch during the day too. Uh and just contemplate the next steps that she might need to take from here. The rest of you, anything you want to do that day? Uh, I do want Razor to take a look at the cylinder and see if he thinks what the magic is there. I'll roll Scholar on see what I can tell you about this cylinder. With five... Um, whatever it is contains, uh, it's not magicka. Mm -hmm. It is your, you would then surmise if it's not magicka, it's in the same vein as, uh, tonal architecture, mm -hmm. uh, sword singing and the thum. Right. I see. It's in that same... Right. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah. That's what you get with the five. Uh, yeah. So I relay this, that it has power in it. It is not Magicka, but it is power. Uh, how it's going to be implemented, I don't know. I think we'll have to go find the other relics before we'll get a bigger picture of what's going on. brings us to the next order of things of where we're going next. Is one of them closer than the others? There's one Valen that's... Wood is to the south, but... Yep, there's one in Valen Wood. There's also one back in Cyrodiil that we didn't get to yet. And then there's also the last one in Morrowind, which is much farther. Obviously, we should go for that one first. <laughs> Wait, why wouldn't funny, we get the closest funny one? you should say that when Valenwood is literally right there. We can. Either way, we have to go somewhere. Um, if we're wondering which ones are closest by physical distance, the one at Sancrator is uh the would be the closest. Um, the Valen Wood and Morrowind are going to both be significantly further. I mean, it's almost, it's not that much closer. Valen Wood is not actually that much closer. Okay. I mean, the border of Valen Wood, yes, but. Well, where, where our capital is and where this. All right. It's so maybe fact two likely thirds is. the distance. Yeah. Then I'll recommend Sancrator. Sancrator works.
And then I look forward to a vigorous debate after we get done with that on to whether we go to Marwind or Valenwood. Vale will go over to Wynn after that conversation. Um, Wynn, I see that you have found a, a small thread of home here. And yet our path takes us on the morning, on the evening tide um, further away again. Uh, do you wish to come with us? Person who, who killed my family is dead. The only person left is my father, and uh, she lo he looks uh, she looks over at where he is with Naomi, and he's he'll be in good hands. I have nothing left here. Not nothing. Now it is something, but that means it's also probably something worth protecting and making better. And I would have loved if you were to come with us, for you have shown your courage and your stalwart determination. And I think that we will might need all of that. For it was quite a thing to see death so near to so many around me. And I would like to not be in such a situation again. Bad decisions were made yesterday, most of which were because of me. I will see this through, but I see no. I, I see nothing that could do much more than just bring this kind of pain. I can see that starting a the deciding conflict is the solution to the problem might not be the right decision. But one cannot see that which is unseen. One cannot know what is in the darkness that you we haven't found yet. Not all those decisions were bad. Not all of that weighs on your shoulders. Regret is just something I'll have to deal with. But I'll be coming with you. I'm glad. Puts a hand on her shoulder. You know, just a pat thing. Let us uh, rest till travel, uh, the weariness of travel catches us again <laughs> as the sun falls. I'll get my things ready. So, yeah, by that point, it's later. I mean, some of the day has passed. The rest of you are, are resting. I mean, there there was some discussion, but it sounds like Sankrator is where you'll be. Yep. Traveling. Mm -hmm. You'll need to get out of the desert, make your way up into the mountains that are on the border here between Cyrodiil, Skyrim, and Hammerfell. Um, and f figure out. Uh, you'll have to get probably some map and figure out exactly where you're going because it was an old abandoned forgotten place up until like a year ago when the hero of Kavach went there to get Tiber Septim's armor or something like that I can't mm -hmm. remember what the right well there will be people with records so is that the blood of a dragon we're after or is it the 
vessel of magic. Blood, Blood of, the of the dragon. Oh, that sounds exciting. Mm -hmm. Super fun. Mm -hmm. Dragons seem like the sort of things that it's harder to reason with. Is that accurate? I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. know. Nobody's seen one in a very long time. Oh, well then, so we're probably not going to run into an actual dragon. I hope not. I hear they're very hard to kill. A younger me would have said no way. Yeah, Great poker face, Casey. Yeah, right? <laughs> if you do run into one, I wish you well. Ah. Uh. It was good to have you with us. Uh, you came in the nick of time. Well, I do what I can, especially when I receive messages that tell me to go. Well, uh, good fortune in your hunting. And yes. I give you a wink and walk away. And uh, her scene be with you. Mm. He always is. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> I want to, I want to, we're going to wrap this up. But I want to, Bertolus, I want the, you've, you've, you've been off by yourself. People are getting ready. You're going along. Um, What's going through your mind that whole day? Like, what the heck? Um... It's, it's kind of a bit of dejection, I guess. Mm. Um, kind of a feeling that uh, he just has to trudge on and not, you know, people aren't going to recognize what he does. He's just going to have to do it regardless because that's his fate. All right. With the uh, sun setting uh, again, you guys are packing up your stuff with the camels to once again backtrack your way out of the desert. Um, there is. as we kind of take a wider view of the desert again, it does seem to be less lively. I don't know how a desert is lively, but this desert is it used to be magically. Whoa. And now it's more just kind of like a desert. Um, and you guys have a world of this to fix or at the very least, Put your mark on it. And uh, yeah, with that, we'll uh, wrap things up and we'll figure out some of the logistics of what's going to happen with all these NPCs. Mm -hmm. Well, we we're not going to keep they're, each they're and coming, every one of them? Well, they're they're not staying here. They're, no. they're coming with you up to a certain point at the very least. Got it. Mm-hmm. Um, but we'll go more over that, uh, I think, next time as I figure out exactly what I want to do with them. Uh, and maybe even you travel with Zarasa for a little while. Yeah. I, I, I might hang along for a while, as long as we're still going the same direction. At some point, I will, you know, part ways, of course. Mm -hmm. And with that, we'll end our session for today. Thank you to the... the stream watchers again mm. glad you guys are here and uh we'll see uh two weeks yep Bye. on to the dragon blood <laughs> <laughs> Real dragon. it'll be 